So this is uh, demo number five. And what we're going to do is really demonstrate why the CSI 2140 is a machinery health analyzer and not just a data collector. Anybody can collect route data and get spectrums and waveforms, but uh, what separates the CSI 2140 apart is the ability to do additional advanced troubleshooting testing while you're in the field, not going back to the office and having to make a return trip. Uh, so you can see the health of the machine right after you collected your route data, and then you can decide to, uh, if you see something interesting in that uh, data you collected, you can decide to run some additional tests uh, to troubleshoot what you're seeing in the data. And so let's say I just collected this data off this, this machine, and you can see a high two times running speed, turning speed peak here. Um, and that tells us, well, maybe I'm suspecting a misalignment condition on this machine. Uh, one thing I can do is come down and press F5. Let's look at the data itself, okay. F5 is plot data, and so it brings up my quad plot here. Now what I can do is, uh, is turn off some of these other plots so I can uh, magnify this particular plot a little uh, larger. And so I could uh, go to the, um, the bottom plots and, and turn them off. And so now I'm just left with one spectrum. And so you can see it come up here and I've got this really large peak down here in the lower frequency zone. And I'm assuming that's probably my two times turning speed peak. I'm going to expand my x-axis by pressing F11 here so I can see that peak a little better. I'm going to touch the screen and I'm going to mark this peak. It's marked at 59.45 hertz. And that is two times uh, turning speed for this particular uh, demo kit here. So that is, uh, I've already you know, identified, you know, marked the peak, the frequency seems to be correct for two times. Now I've got these fault frequencies that I could put on here. And so uh, I could sit here and, and uh, scroll some fault frequencies across until I see it lining up uh, with that particular peak. And there we go. That's really lining up nicely. This is the running speed fault frequency uh, peak and you can see here one times is the first one and the second one is verifying that that is two times turning speed. Now what I can do uh, to further verify that I think I've got a misalignment condition is cross channel phase across a coupling is a good indication, a good test to run to show misalignment. If it really is a misalignment condition then I should see 180 degrees phase shift across this coupling. And so this is where the four channel CSI 2140 comes in handy. You can see I've got four sensors on the setup and I can go into the analyze mode, okay, by run analyze F12 and I can go F7, more experts, and then F10 is my cross channel amplitude and phase test here. So I can go into this and I can press, uh, press start, and it's asking for the frequency. I'm gonna use uh, just the one times turning speed frequency here, so I'm gonna type in 29.7 and press enter. I've just got A and B channels turned on, so I'm gonna stop this, and I'm gonna do the setup here. I'm gonna turn on my inputs, turn on channels C and D, so I've got four channels here. Press enter. They're all set up for inches per second, and that looks good. And so now let's do the test again here. So now I've got channel A is my reference, and then I'm seeing the cross-channel phase and coherence for channels B, C, and D. So my red is A, blue is B, gray is C, black is D, and so you can see my coherence is one for all of them. That means they're all receiving the same vibration from the same source, because they're all on the same uh, demo uh, kit here. But notice the cross-channel phase between A and C, that would be across the coupling, is 
negative 177. So pretty close to almost 180 degrees phase shift going across that coupling, very indicative of misalignment condition, verifies what we suspected from using our fault frequencies and cursor to mark the two times line frequency peak in the spectrum. And so now we've just run a very simple test to verify our earlier conclusion and diagnosis. Uh, also, you can see that channel D is also very close to 180, uh, verifying that both C and D are in phase, but definitely out of phase, uh, 100 and approximately 180 across a coupling, indicating a misalignment condition. Simple test, uh, but only can be done with a, a powerful analyzer like the CSI 2140.